And that's what I want everyone to see. Bright, cheerful. What an amazing person she is. Mm. Funny, beautiful, um, like a normal girl, uh, which I know a lot of people say, but that's, that's who she is. Um, yeah, I love that clip because that brings back a lot of good memories. Mm. So, Asif, how, how did you collaborate? How did you get the material to put something like this together? Because a very different side of her has been seen. Well, a side that not many people get to see about of any famous person, really. Yeah, I, it took quite a while. I, I spent a lot of time talking to people and interviewing people. Um, I spoke to, it, it kind of took about three years to make the film. I spoke to over 100 people. And um, one by one, people kind of had to learn to trust me, I suppose, because they didn't know who I was. And there wasn't a lot of trust, I suppose, of the media and journalism or kind of filmmakers. Um, and I got to know um, Amy's first manager, Nick Szymanski, and he provided us with quite a bit of material. And then Nick introduced me to Juliet and to Lauren, who's in the film. And it took quite a while, actually, for them to kind of trust me or get to know me. Um, but eventually, once we spoke and I interviewed Juliet and Lauren, they then said, look, we've got these personal photographs and videos and home videos. And really, that's when I thought, OK, we've got a movie, because there's this young Amy, the funny, intelligent, healthy girl that I'd never seen, and I don't think the audience had ever seen. Because when you were first approached about the idea, presumably you were sort of very protective of I mean, of I, her, yeah, I, I, won't, I can't lie. When uh, me and Lauren found out, we were furious. You know, we were really upset, because for us, it's ye yesterday. To everyone else, it's however long, or I don't even know how many years. I have no, I, I don't. Mm. To us, it was yesterday. So when we found out, we were really upset um, that it was even happening, you know. Um, but the truth of the matter is when Nick Szymanski, you know, I love him very much and trust him. And he sat down with me and Lauren, and he's been with us, you know. Mm. Obviously, we've been there since we were four years old, but he's been with us from a, an it's early age, yeah. Mm. So he, we, he, we trust in him. And then we met with Asif, and I spent a lot of time chatting with Asif, as he said, and, you know, we just wanted to be able to contribute what we want people to see of her, mm. which is all the good stuff, yeah. you know? 23rd of July, 2011, more than four years ago now, and you, you say it feels like yesterday. Mm -hmm. And there have been so many depictions of Amy Winehouse and so many stories about or cataloguing or speculating about her descent into addiction and, and towards her death. And do you think this film changes how people will remember her or perceived her and yeah. her legacy to music? I mean, yes, yeah, she was she was a baby when, yeah. when she died, but she's impacted music so much. Yeah. 100%, and that's what I'm so proud of. You know, we were so, like I said, we were so scared to do it, um, but I'm so proud that people are going to see our Amy, and that person is a fantastic person and hilarious, you know, so funny and so intelligent and lovely yeah. and beautiful and like a normal girl, and that's, what, and that's yeah, I'm so proud of that. The, 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 the music in the film is just... Wonderful, and you've got some, some great footage. I think um, if there's a heart-stopping moment for me, it was we have film amazingly uh, recorded of her recording Back to Black with Mark Ronson mm -hmm. in New York. Let's just take a look at this. Um, you, you, you said you, that we see a very positive side to her, but we do also see the darker side approaching as one has to, and you would have been aware of that because you shared a flat with her at one point, <coughs> didn't you, before um, when she got her first flat? Yeah, together. yeah. It must have been upsetting for you when you didn't drift apart, but when she was no, you were no longer together in that sense. And then you, you how aware were you of what was happening later? Um, I, the only way I can describe it is, you know, when she wrote her first album, that was the most beautiful time of our lives. You know, we were young. We didn't go to university. We moved into our first flat together. That's where she was writing the album. It was a really magical time, really, really special time. Um, and she moved to Camden. And, you know, for me, we've always been best friends from the age of four until now. Mm. She's always been my best friend. Um, when situations like that happen, as I said, like the circus came to town and that's really, and it was like a nightmare circus. So, um, but that's, um, that's why I find, I find it very difficult. I can't really listen to that no. album. Um, but, you know, I just want to make it clear that towards the end, that wasn't my best friend. That's not Amy, um, not the, the album, but how 
um, what she went through. Mm. Amy's a very happy person and, um, as I said, extremely funny and um, a genius, highly intelligent, a beautiful, clearly everyone knows, a stunning, remarkable singer um, and songwriter, more to the point. Um, but that wasn't... Toward, that, towards the end, that wasn't her. And that's why I really, me and Lauren, both feel really strongly now, because obviously she's not here to do that herself, to, to speak for herself, and not saying that we should, but we want to get that across of, mm. you know, I want people to, to remember ask, everything good about her. I was going to ask, because we, we said this is your first broadcast interview, and yeah. obviously in light of the film and your collaboration with Asif. Um, and you can't you can't speak for her as you, as you said. But you're obviously very emotional still. You miss your friend. For that, we're very sorry. Um, do you feel you can change the image of Amy now, or do you? Do, I don't know if you feel almost that it, it's your duty, or if you have some power to just make sure that people see the side you saw. Can I answer that? Yeah. yeah. It's really hard, I think, for Juliet or Lauren to kind of try and do that. That's where we come in. Mm -hmm. You know, when I spoke to Nick, Juliet, Lauren, and and all of the other people, and I started hearing about this girl. <laughs> who wasn't a person that was being represented by the media, by TV stations, by the newspapers, on the internet, made fun of her. Yeah. And I think that was the thing. That's what, that's what our job was, in yeah. a way. Julia, you were going to say? Yeah, and that's, that's the main thing for me. Like, I am so proud of my best friend. And I'm proud to say that she's my best friend. And um, obviously, when someone's in the public eye that much, you don't want to share anything, because me and Lauren are very, you know, protective yeah. and don't want to share anything. Um, however, like what Asif said, it's really important for us to make sure that as much as we can talk about how fantastic she is. Positive. Well, I think yeah, in the, in the exactly. film you certainly get People that. People fall in love with the real Amy. That's yes. really what's happened yeah. around the world. And is it, I have to say, it's a very remarkable it's documentary. It's mesmerising. Thank yeah. you so much, both of you. Thank you. Thank Good you day. for coming.